Yo, what's happening, my people? So it's your boy Chance Jollivet, aka Smooth, back with another video, man. Happy to bring y'all this. My returning subscribers, salute. If this your first time, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, come back, join the family. <laughs> but uh, anyways, this is Power Book Three, Raising Canaan, Season Two, Episode Five. What happens in the cat skills? This right here, this was a I want to say this is like kind of the first filler episode. It was it was interesting. It was interesting, man. But as far as like the storyline progressing and stuff, uh, I didn't see. I didn't see like nothing too major. They had a lot of little little cute things, like little little moments and stuff. But it's like, yeah, it was a good episode though. Let's talk about it. It starts off, yo. This was an Oscar worthy. Crackhead performance. This this crackhead, he, he, well, yo, this we just seen some iconic crackheads. We seen uh Samuel Jackson, Haley Berry, uh Chris Rock. We seen some of the the biggest crackheads in the game. And he's up there with them. This motherfucker, he he was crackhead of the year, and so he's knocking on the door. Yo, man, I need four of them things. I need four of them things, man. Yo, we close for business, business, dog. We we doing some. How how a crack house gonna be gonna be closed? Y'all got banking hours now. Come on, man. So what happens is uh Marvin is in there. He's doing maintenance. Let's say so he's cleaning up the body that they had. They then had their body. How did they run the crack house in there with their dead body? Stanking up the motherfucking place. Everybody knew it was funky as hell. How was somebody operating in? Yo, if something stinks that bad, it, it, it isolates. It's not like, damn, where is that at? It's right there in the wall. They were hiding the money in that closet. You mean to tell me nobody had the gall, had the, 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 uh, the mental fortitude to be like, yo, I think this smell is in that wall. And the normal human being would be like, man, they probably got some rats or something died in there. Man, we're going to have to call, well, can't say called exterminator because it is a crack house. And they, <laughs> it can't be like, let me put the crack to the side and you uh do your exterminating business. But man, nobody didn't know there was something was going on in the, the wall. Anyways, I don't want to take too much time on that topic right there. Marvin, so he got Buddy out the wall and stuff. Blase, blase. The camping trip to the Catskills. So Rock goes and she fucking with, with Kane and she looking at him. He wakes up. Yo, man, what, what, what's up, Ma? What's that? You remember we went to the Catskills and stuff? We went camping. Yo, I think we need, we need to go camping. Just out of the blue, like, it's like weird as hell, like. Yo, Ma, you didn't even like camping. You hated it. She she wants to have some time with him. She Maybe she wants to speak to him. She definitely wants to get him away from Howard. So Rock always has a plan. But it turned out she had other things as well. But I think that was just like... she It's something she didn't have to do. That's something she would have put the call in for normally. I really don't think that Rock would be like... I want to go deliver this body. I think she would have been like, yo, Marvin, go. Or, uh, Scrap, go. Never mind. Because mm, they knock Scrap off. Mm -mm. But anyways, so, the Italians, the Italians throwing a lot of niggas out there. Like, homeboy, yo, I see them, them gold chain niggas, 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 I, yo, I just, your neighbors, what if they was with your girl, with your, 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 your daughter? Fucking niggas. Homeboy is racist as hell. His partner, he, he seems more progressive. He still is, is a, a, a cock sucking, uh, mobster and shit. What that, while I'm on the subject, that's, that's something I, I made a mental note of, like, like Jay-Z. I didn't write it down, but it, but it stuck in my head. But anyways, so, I don't know why in black culture we have this thing. We love the mobster so much. Look, Goodfellas, Godfather, 
Scarface, or Carlito's way, we love the mobster shit. Mobsters hate black people. From Godfather of Harlem to anything. Yo, what it what makes me happy is is to see the, the niggas. Yo, we're not gonna do business with the niggas. And they throw this out in all the mobster movies and shit, and we still be like, yo, yo, dog, them Italians, they some bad motherfuckers, dog, yo, yo, the mobsters. Man, fuck the mobsters, man. Fuck the, the fucking Mugliani, uh, spaghetti motherfuckers and shit, bitches. I, 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 I like Scarface and shit, too. Uh, Godfather, I watch Godfather. Carlitos, well, I, I like Al Pacino. That's my, that's my dog. But, it is, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. Why we love these people so much, man? And they hate us, dog. Fucking cocksuckers. Uh, Kanan tells Juke how it might be his pops. Yo, yo, Juke, you remember what you told me about your moms? And looking in the eyes, yo, I went look at the cop in the eyes. Yo, and I seen something mad familiar. Why Juke, Juke went out the way to find her mama? She found her mama and stuff. Why is it such a a, a, a trial or a, so negative that Kanan might have found his daddy? Like, yo, the, that fucking cop is lying. Maybe Kanan is happy that he, he found a, a, a father figure that's alive. Because Defcon, he found out Defcon was gay. Did he find out Defcon was gay? We found out Defcon was gay. But Defcon, not his, not his damn daddy and stuff. And... Maybe Howard, maybe he he wants a positive role model, cause he's he's not in built for the game at this point in the series. Like Cannon is kind of soft, so he might be like, Man, I don't want to do this, do this shit. Maybe I want to be a cop, but they they push him other ways. You never know what could happen. Anyways, of course, Ziza stole love, uh, stole Juke's song, so she hears in this stuff. Man, fucked up situation. Crown Crown keeps playing loop. Like, he's at the radio station, look, yo, man, we got this artist, and we're going to make a star and stuff. Yo, that's just the money, man. Yo, come on and talk to me. Yo, it took me everything not to laugh at that nigga. <laughs> yo, I, I love Quincy. I don't love Quincy. I don't, I don't love him. But I, I like Quincy. I like Quincy. Diddy's son, uh, Al B. Shure's son. That's my dog. He's not my dog. I don't know him. <laughs> but, but, uh, I hate him on there. I hate him on there, dog. Lulu. Fuck him up. No, don't don't fuck him up. Cause he he Lulu does um, hit him with a with Evander Holyfield on here. That's not enough. That's not enough. Bury him in the cat skills. Bury him in the ocean with his with his uh forefathers, with his ancestors, like Killmonger. Put him down in the dirt. Put his dick in the dirt. That's what you need to do. Do the uh crown. That mother of a cannon and rock. They head out, they go to the cat skills and stuff. So they ride it. Well, they get in the, they get in the car together earlier and stuff. And they, Howard is up, not Howard, Marvin is like, yo, put it in the back seat. Don't open the trunk. Don't open the trunk and listen to that. But anyway, so they on their way. Cops end up on their backside. Looking like the trip is going to be very short. Cops kept showing up on, on here and messing with people, but not like stopping them. Like they, they, they kind of did their jobs, but they weren't too much of dicks on this episode. Like, they didn't, they, they, uh, 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 racially profiled people, but they didn't, they didn't go to the extent. They didn't, uh, stop people or beat them down on the block. So you can give them a, a little, a little pat on the back, I guess, guess for this. Uh, Marvin, he meets with his counselor, and... She like, you got to give me something. I think she got a little crush on him at this point. But she like, you got to give me something. Man. I can't go to the judge and you ain't told me nothing. You got to tell me something that makes you uncomfortable. Uh, something that you don't want to expose to anybody. And he like, yo, I got a daughter. And I did some fucked up shit. And she might never, she never talk to me again. And rightfully so. Yo, it wasn't no sexual shit. It wasn't nothing like that. I ain't no nasty motherfucker. I'm a dumb motherfucker. <laughs> so, is it, well, he, let me let me quote him right. I'm not a sick motherfucker. I'm a dumb motherfucker. So, we've been, and th this season, it hasn't been that bad. First season, Marvin was dumb as a box of rocks. But he looks like his character is developing more and more. I like Marvin, man. He's one of my favorite characters of, of this season and stuff. 
But it's, it's ironic that he calls himself dumb because I know in season one of my videos, I sure called him dumb a lot. Of course, Kane and Holly at the white girl. They had the store and stuff. He, he hollered at the white girl. Of course, brother. And uh, we see we see Rock. She, she, you know, that big ass knife. She buys the knife. Hmm. I'm like, I'm like, maybe she should have brought it. But maybe I guess that was smart to buy the knife because, uh, like, it's a it's a good chance that she get pulled over. And if she had a piece in the car, like, yeah, it would have been bad. But. Mm, I would say like she could have had a hunting rifle or something, but like she, I'm pretty sure she don't have no hunting license. And who gonna they in a little car, a little car, and who what cop is gonna be like? I believe she's hunting. Her and her son is going out there to hunt deer or something. So yeah, the knife probably was the the best way to go. Um, Juke confronts Ziza. Yo, you you stole my song. I got my own music. I don't need to steal your shit. <laughs> Ziza is just like, I, I like I like her light heart heartedness. Like she just have, doesn't have a care in the world. Like she just has like a, a unabashed confidence about her. Like, bitch, I'm the shit. Like I did your song. Oh well, I don't need it. I got my own shit. I'm the shit. La 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 la. And she go go about her business. That's that's how I see Ziza. I'm not mad at it. Marvin, he finds his ex flame, so he chilling it, and he's he's like spying on it and stuff. And the cops, they go mess with him, like I said, but they they uh, pick at him, but they don't they don't really fuck with him too too much. But it's like, why is he doing that out of the blue, finding his, his ex girl or whatever? Like, yeah, it if she would have went to the courthouse or something, maybe he wants to cross his T's and dot his eyes, and make sure she's out of the picture because if she would have went. And uh, testified against him, he would have been under the jail. But I, I don't know. Maybe he wants to make sure. We shall see. Damn. Fucked up, man. We find out that Lou the one that gave the song to Ziza. It wasn't Crown. It was Lou trying to be Mr. Mr. A&R and stuff. It was smart on his part. And it would be a good look for Jukebox, like, a writing credit credit is a bad isn't a bad thing. Like you get some broke off, like maybe not in the with the eighties or early nineties or something. But she like brothers like the Dream, Dream wrote Umbrella, Bella, Ella, Ella, A, hey. and she. I'm pretty sure he like. I'm glad Rihanna sung that motherfucker. But uh, Detective Nosy pulls in pulls in Howard friend his his friend. Why she keep fucking with the people, man? Leave Howard alone. Leave Howard alone and get out of his business. This bitch is nosy than a motherfucker. Like, man, Howard, he don't know who shot him. He don't want you to know. Leave it the fuck alone. God damn, this bitch nosy. Uh, the Catskills, we get back to that. The Italians, they plotting on rock and stuff, man. Like, they, they been looking at the people, but now they, they plotting an, an assassination attempt. I'm like, then the homeboy catches Kanan with the white girl. You like, yo, what are you doing and stuff? I'm like, that's her daddy or something. This, you don't even know this white girl. Why are you getting budding in that bed? Yo, I stopped him from raping that white girl and stuff. Like you know this immature motherfucker. Like that, that's the shit they got Emmett immature killed. Like mother, not minding their goddamn business. Like get your ass on. Like god damn, this. This this episode was rather frustrating with the racism and shit, man. Just fucking Mugliani's and shit, yo. <laughs> Kanan and Rock finally have a little heart to heart. They they get to talking and stuff, man. Howard is looking for Kanan. Uh, Juke is like, yo, he where the fucking fuck he at? Don't worry about it and stuff. He's like, and Howard is like heartbroken, like my son, my son. Oh my god. You don't know him. <laughs> uh, Rock and Kanan, they they go bury the body. Like yo yo, what the fuck? We we got work to do. I'm in Louisiana. I I mentioned that a lot, but like I've I've did like manual labor and stuff like that. I've had to I've had to bear uh dig up a, a busted pipe or something like that. In the movies, look. Grab the shovels. Ten foot hole. In a... Quickly. Damn.
that shit don't work like that. Yo, in real life, Louisiana, we don't have the hardest ground in the world. We got muddy ground and stuff like that. A hole, say, say a hole this big in that wide. That's, that's a motherfucking job. Your hands will be blistered the fuck up. You gonna be tired. It's gonna be fucked up. That shit is not easy like that. So you the very what y'all y'all digging marshmallows? The ground is like marshmallow. It gotta be for y'all to dig big ass holes like that in such a quick amount of time. That shit does not happen like that in real life. Like I don't you you gotta have an excavator or something. They would have had to go over there with a damn tractor and have and dig scoop that motherfucker out. You wasn't doing that with no shovels. Hell no. Anyways, you would have had to have Dwayne the Rock Johnson digging that motherfucker. Shit, not Rock and Cane. <laughs> Famous peels the beans about Jesse Crown. He like, yo, I knew that shit. And Famous, he, he trying to get his rhymes back together and stuff. But uh, he like, I, I knew that. But then Crown, I'm not Crown. Uh, Luke looks like he looks. I think he, he like. Oh, this motherfucker been plotting. Oh, you know what this nigga fuck? This nigga fuck Jessica and shit. This nigga did all this shit behind my back. I gotta kill this motherfucker. Kill it. Kill it. I hate to see Quincy fired, but he gotta, he gotta go. He gotta go. <laughs> Laverne. Yo, Laverne goes to church. She looking good. She got her hair done and stuff, man. Homeboy tried to holler at her. Like, she don't want you. She don't want you, player. Yo. For some reason, Latoya Lucky knew that she could sing. Like, sing, sing. They want to know if you got the gift. Yo, yo she, she got the gift. She blow the roof off that motherfucker. Juke. Juke. Choo. A 10 out of 10. She killed that shit. Yo, I was watching that bitch. I got goosebumps. I'm like, oh, God damn, Juke. I don't even like uh, gospel music and stuff like that. Like, maybe that's blasphemous or something. I don't even. But that shit, it did something. For, it spoke to me. It spoke to me. Howard finds out what old girl told his partner. Yo, we done. I ain't fucking with you no more. How the fuck you gonna, you gonna tell her and this and this and that? They don't have a uh, a, 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 a client, client uh, something clause or whatever in your line of work. Uh, Marvin is still stalking. But he's stalking, and then the cops is behind him. Like, look like, man, Marvin, look, he gonna get, man, like, the cops is gonna be like, why are you here? And get caught up and, and shoot him or something. Feel like some bullshit like that might happen, man. I hope not, but the, in the end of the episode, man, the Italians, make they make their move on Rock. They try to kill Rock and stuff, man. She is like she knew something was up, like her spider sense was tangling or something. So she had a knife. She puts it to home by her throat, like, look, this is how it's going to go. Look, we going to go. I'm going to leave, like, blase, blase. And Kanan went to Google, Google, holler at the white girl right quick. Try to get him a little, a little, little devil dabble in the snow. A little snowfall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But so, he go try to do his thing. Man, the white dude, he, he is incensed. He is like a homeboy in belly. I don't like that. I don't like that. He goes try to kill Kanan. So, the other Italian dude that has to end up saving Kanan, um, uh, and shit, they talk about, he's trying to kill Kanan. Shit, Kanan was whipping him for a little minute, but then he got, he got on top of Kanan, but my homeboy got saved and stuff. And they, they get out of the cat skills, somewhat unscathed, but we gonna see, we gonna see what transpires, but hey, they pretty interesting. They, they had a, to say this was like probably the episode I disliked the, the most. I found the most fun in talking about this episode. Like I was extra silly on this one. Uh, uh, just, uh, just a lot of things came to mind. This, this, it, so it made the episode better. But anyways, man, like, comment, subscribe. Gonna be the greatest of the most hated. Me, I let you boy. Peace.